This video is sponsored by Model3Part.com. For all the latest and greatest Tesla Model 3 accessories, visit Model3Part.com. Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm JP and you are watching The Buzz. Today we're going to take a look at the newly released Double Tap Auto Park feature available through Software Update 2020.4.1. We're going to dive into how to set it up and what you lose by doing so. Let's dive right in. So if you've been scratching your head because the new double tap auto park feature is not working when you double press the park button, well, you're probably not alone. There's been many people confused about how the feature works and what you need to change in order to enable it. Let's dive into the settings that you need to change in order to enable double tap auto park. So this is what you need to do. Come into your menu. Come into Autopilot, and then you want to come into Customize Summons. And here you have a bunch of different options that you can choose as far as your bumper clearance, how far you want summon to work, your side clearance, whether it's standard or tight, the required continuous press. This one is the important one. Right now, it is defaulted at yes. And this forces you in the application to hold down and press the summon button in order for the car to move. To get double tap auto park to work, you have to change the setting to no. Then the disclaimer page will pop up. This disclaimer is asking you to make sure that you want to remove or disable continuous press for summon. And we're gonna wanna go ahead and hit yes. And now you can see it changed here. And now you should be ready to rock and roll. So let's just do a quick test here. Let's exit the menu and I'm gonna put the car in reverse and move back just slightly so it knows that I'm moving. I'm gonna put it back in park. I'm gonna double tap, boom. Now you get the auto park feature on the screen and then you simply just choose which direction you wanna go and that's it. So there you have it, that is how you set up the double tap auto park feature. So now that we did that, let's go ahead and do a couple of tests to see how it works. Then we're gonna dive into the mobile phone application to see what's changed by disabling continuous press for summon. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test double tap auto park here real quick. But what I wanted to note is that back in the settings, you will see that I do have the garage side clearance set to tight. And you can see I have my other vehicle in the garage and a very tight window for the Model 3 to pull into. So we're gonna see if the new double tap auto park feature will get me into the garage like my typical summons does. So let's go ahead and get this activated. I'm just gonna back up the car here just a little bit to let it know that, you know, hey, I'm just pulling up. And I'm gonna put it in park. The other important thing to note is you have to have your foot off of the brake after you put the vehicle in park, double tap, and we're gonna select move forward. It is gonna wait for me to get out of the vehicle and close the door before it proceeds. Let's see how it works. Whatever reason it does not want to pull into the garage even though i have the settings set to tight the car just won't pull in and just to give a perspective this is what we're looking at that's where the car has to pull into so the regular summon where i have to use the app to get the car in and out of the garage works perfect almost every time so let's give it another try i'm going to pull back a little bit further and see if we can get this thing to work a little bit better this time let's give it another try Reverse, okay, park, foot is off the brake, double tap, there we go, let's give it a try again. Oh, it's doing it this time, it's doing it. Look at this. Nice and tight, look at this. It actually worked. That was awesome! It actually worked this time. Holy cow, I was shocked. It parked in this very 
tight spot. That might be a foot and a half there. And then it gets a little bit more toward the back of the other vehicle. And again, very tight here. All right, so now that I showed you how to set up the double tap auto park feature, let's dive into the application and show you the one thing that you'll be missing by setting up the new double tap auto park feature. So before you decide to change anything over to the double tap auto park feature, I wanna note one thing in the mobile app. And that is if you come into the mobile app and come down here to summon, you're gonna note that you have your summon command and you have to press and hold the direction button to start a summon. Now this is the press and hold feature that you have to remove if you want to activate the double tap auto park feature. This feature in its current state works really well. I don't ever have a problem activating and using summon with this setup. Now let's look at the app when we change the configuration to double tap auto park. Okay, so I went back in the car and I activated the double tap auto park feature. And now I wanna come into the application, come in here to summon, and now you're gonna see the app has completely changed. Now you have a forward and reverse button, just like the display in the car when you're activating the double tap auto park feature. This feature in the application has not worked very well for me. It continues to stop. I have to activate it a couple of times in order for it to work. In my personal opinion, the press and hold feature in Summon works much better than the press and release. So there you have it. There's everything that you need to know on how to set up the new Double Tap Auto Park feature. If you did set up and try it, let me know down below in the comments how it worked for you. Did it work well? Was it buggy? Do you feel that you're gonna continue to have the feature enabled or are you gonna go back to the traditional way of using Summon? Thank you so much for tuning in, folks. We'll catch you on the next one.